Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're doing so today the video today uh, about my brother, eldest brother, and then I'm here in Darissa boarding house because my eldest brother for visit her because uh she from uh, he from in the uh as uh, where is this Ayumun 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 up in the mountain uh <coughs> Kan kene itu 4 hours? Dua ka, dua ka uras. 2 hours for ride in the bus guys. So Risa and me for explain about to my eldest brother the name of the joke for uh, Junibi. Junibi or in short joke. So hi everyone. So I'm back. <laughs> so this is my brother. He just came here cuz he didn't have food to feed his family. Because he just live in the uh, the highest forest and the mountain, but that land is not for them, so they just live there, that um that land. But that owner still they say that um they will be move another places or where they want to live, cause maybe that land will be sell it to the owner. So, so that's like why that, the land is like a free, give a free, and they have a limit. Yeah, it's just a limit. So that's why the other, um, his wife, family also same as they live before. That land is just for free, but they just live there. But that, um, it it depends on the owner if they will be tell that oh go away this land is my land you will find another land. Yeah. So they just they will live for a kind of that owner. But right now the owner will be tell that they will be needed to move. Because maybe that land needed for renovation or like that, make, make another or house. So it's just the same with this family of his wife. So you know, the family of his wife, her wife is also still at the mountain live. And it's going to be also a farming farmer. So that's why they will be um, find a food. But it's really hard if you are not educated. Cause, yeah, because my brother is only grade one. Yeah, my brother is only grade one. She don't know how to read, so he didn't. He didn't know how to write, but it's not too much. And he just um, when she just like signature or like that, he just like a nervous because he didn't know how to yeah. much um write. So that's why he just came here for us a food because he didn't have to feed his family. He just have two kids, a little kids, and her wife is super slim right now because he didn't have to feed. They eat not. Uh, in a day they eat not three times a day they eat like a little rice so it's gonna be having a little food of their tummy so that's why he just came here to ask if there are sister that they have a little money he just asked for it so that's why he just came here yeah because my brother only work is uh cutting getting the, grass cutting the grass and then by sack by 30, 30, pesos. 30 pesos for the uh, for sale in the grass so it's really hard because uh, how many sack how many sack you just been full that one sack just 30 pesos so yeah. 30 pesos is just a super little you can buy two eggs yeah two eggs and yeah, you two can eggs. and then if you buy the rice it's not enough because the rice is like 100 plus per yeah, kilo one a yeah 100 plus yeah. in one kilo one it depends on what kind of rice do you want because some our rice are like not really good so that's not so much expensive but much better you buy a rice it's good for your good tummy yeah and then how people were asking why my brother not uh, not go to the school before because uh the guess that time is uh, my family is living in the mountain and then before go to the school it's lot, lots of river that you yeah. reach out when you just reach in the in the school so lots of river that you just pass through by going to school so yeah. that's why it's really hard and then there's no food so joe before when she is uh, his kid as my parents said that um she just like farming to get the food so that's why he didn't have an idea to go to school unless he saved the parents or tummy. Yeah. So that's why we're gonna be same with at the main Can they you are both. Hi, Joe. Hmm. Hi. So that's yeah. the Joe is only Bisaya for talk guys because he not understand for English. Yeah, when she's just going home, she just said that 
can you please read where this place is? Because yeah. I, I want to get uh, right the bus because you don't know what how to read. Yeah. So sometimes you just ask the conductor or the driver in the bus, this is the place that I will go because you don't know how, because there's a name there in the bus because this is the place that you want to go. There's like by one like that, shot yeah. on, but he didn't know how to read it. So that's why he just asked. And it's really hard to find a job with Joe. If people said that, why Joe will not find a work like that? Because he did, he want, he have a family. He need to feed it. So it's just always stressed by the other sister. That's why that some people are asking like that. So if ever Joe will be find a work, it's really hard to find a work. Because right now, it's just to be needed a qualification like a high school graduate. So and it that's. It's needed that people can read it. So, yeah. Joe cannot say that that can he read it. It's really hard for him to read it. But Joe is a hard, hard working person. She just always clean. She want he want that house is gonna be peaceful. That always gonna be clean, no dirt. Yeah. So, Joe is really uh really hard working. If you just needed to for work or hire that, I want to clean this one. I want to want. Joe is really good for it. Yeah, good so work. she's got he, he he didn't want to say no. At least he's just earned a money and just is very kind to you person. Yeah. And if he apply for the like parking boy, he's very hard because he parking didn't... boy need for the ID uh, requirements, but <coughs> he not know that. Yeah, so, and it's really needed to um if there's people that pay, uh, send you uh give you a 10 pesos yeah. and it's gonna say i want to give you five pesos like that or exchange like money so you just didn't know how to um change the money right so it's yeah. really hard for him so it just depends on us people that story some people are successful they are also school finish their school but some people are same with my brothers because of the situation before of that uh, living in the forest it's really hard yeah so for all sibling uh joe for the next four um Jean. eldest sister and then joe for the next and then me i'm only the grade three but i'm thankful uh i'm very thankful to god thank you to lord because i'm grade three but i, I know how to read i know how to uh to write yeah and then it's so hard if you're not good for it and then if you're not how to speak the uh, yeah, business but me i'm doing my best for how to read how to the uh speak the english because before i'm young i buy the uh, dictionary english and how to the right yeah because if my brother is so hard for uh doing that yeah, because some people, if you don't know how to read or write, yeah. they will be judging you. Oh, why well, she just always like that? How to speak? It's just yeah. like uh, something that you speak that is not same with him. Like mm -hmm. people, they will be judging you. So Filipino people are judging too much, the same as a Filipino. Yeah. So some people are not judging, but some people are judging too much. So that's called like, um, think um, uh, it can be some people are maritess like that. Gossip. They were, yeah, yeah they're just not something their own self. Yeah. They just something that other person yeah. that, why like that yeah. they just feel like she just know how to english but he didn't know yeah. so that's why because have another people gossip uh gossip your family oh because your parents uh he's, he's a lot uh uh the sibling and they not give for the school and then like that so yeah so that some, is the Philippines. So that's why they are the their parents. Some parents are so very lucky to their son or daughter that they already graduate or having yeah. a good job. So some parents are already sad that because their child were not finished. But mm -hmm. it depends on the that uh their daughter or son because they wanted to like Atame, She just wanted to know how to, to know how to drive. She's just willing to drive yeah, it. Yeah, I know. He never give up. So yeah. it depends on the people that never give up what you want to go or what you want in life yeah. so you pressure yourself yeah. same same if you're if you're if you're yourself you want to how to read if you're doing the best you success but you need to more patient yeah like the really hard is it's going to be start starting is really hard yeah. but if you are still in that point that you are already at the highest it's just too much hard it's yeah. just the first one it's really hard yeah. and then Joe, uh, plan of vida, di mo? Kuan, 41. 41? 
My brother guys is 41 and then he is 37. So ilang ka years for different 41 or 37? Oh. Uh, for uh, 37. For how many years? Four years. Four years. 37 or 41. Four years. Go. Four years. Oh, four four years. years gap. Oh, okay. And then Jing is like 42? 41? 41 man is siya. Jing is 42. Hold <laughs> 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 on. I don't know guys. So old my sibling. How old? Risa is 23? Oh, 23. 23. 23. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then my mother is 60. Yeah. 61. Because father is already 60. My mother 60. is 61 and my father is 65. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's why. And then my brother is. How old are you? How old are you? 31. The wife guy is 31. So, your kids right now, how old are you? How old are you? Huh? The eldest is 7. How old are you? 3 years old and half. Oh. And then, so every day, what is your food there if there's no rice? Kasi ko wala may karon jot sa yung anon. Iti mo. Salagoy. Balangoy, balangoy sabi. Okay sir. If if not have the Mara, rice balangoy, guys. Kukulay buga. Kasaba. 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 Kasaba in a whole day. Uh boiled kasaba whole day. Whole day. Bok adlaw. Hmm. So they will get that cassava in the forest. Na, nah, ugnay bugas, lugaw-lugaon ra, ugnay bugas magiginagmay lugaw-lugaon ra. So if there's a rice like just a the rice 2 kilos or like that, they, they will be not all that 2 kilos will be cooked. The okay. some of them have getting my uh, rice soap yeah, to make it. So that's why they they a little rice soap, so that's why the 2 kilos not much already will be gone so that's why they will be do like that so imong trabaho kada adlaw kana magkuwag ngumpay ngumpay mo magbot kada adlaw nya sa ska adlaw pila 30 pesos 30 ang dag renta sa ska adlaw pila maabot ni pila mo in just a day sa ska adlaw so sa ska adlaw so sino ba inti pila manaka tulo ka sako pat ka sako pat ka sako just in the one day he just make four sack of grass full of grass so it costs 120 pesos because it's 30 pesos so it's good 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 so beginning she reads at 7 7 a.m. 8 o'clock 8 a.m. and then she just it just end 12 noon so he just earned 120 pesos you have a four socks because really in a one sock you just really need to get to full the grass because if you cannot full that grass in one sock there's no one who buy it so it's really needed and you just uh getting that grass in that uh what do you call this one lots of grass you don't know there's a snake yeah, so it's really it super uh not safe because you don't know you're just getting grass and then there's a snake who bite you so lots of insects are there already while Joe is just pressure himself to get this grass to feed his family yes he just this is the situation of Jude that he want a family, so he want to pursue himself to get up a little money for them to feed it. Even it's not too much, but he just a little feed him in just like one twenty pesos a day. So, tagaadlo ka mo ang anjot? Anang mangpai tagaadlo John? Hindi hindi na ko yule na ko yule adlo nga wala ko yiko. So, magpakumpay tungos kadaghana. Ah, so it's not all every day will Jew will get a grass because some uh owner. the owner will be not not ask for get the grass. I will pay for you like that because there's already a grass that already stuck there that are lots of them same of Joe that they will be getting grass to sell. So the owner will be stop it like that. I will need the grass by next week, uh, next week like that or the next month. So that's why not all every day Joe will be getting the grass. So that's why even uh, maybe Joe will be thinking that oh if ever the owner will be not tell us to get the grass we don't have to feed it so that's why jewel came here to ask a little food so yeah. she just 
as he just accept it even if a little unless he just a little feed his family it's important to feed the kids yeah uh. and then for about the girl is uh for the animals para sa kwan sa hayop waka kandi ah for the grass guys for the feed for the goat uh, goat and cow mm. so i remember before guys uh my mm -hmm. my brother and then i working in manila he's working too but is he is a uh, very fast going home because uh he not know how to the he not understand because my boss before in Manila is Chinese and he not understand. Ah, nakan na ba sa Ujutis, Manila? No, and then, <laughs> yeah, and then only there is like one month and then he come back home because it's, it's very hard for work. He not know how to read, how to speak the yeah. tag language, the Tagalog. So, Ju is hard, a good hard working person but yeah. it's really hard. The problem is uh, to no. communicate with people yeah. if he don't know how to speak it in yeah. Tagalog. Even if she's, he is Bisaya, but in Manila, it's Tagalog language. Tagalog so, language. lots of them are already mixed. Uh, Tagalog, yeah. English, Chinese, and some people there are already mixed. But it's really hard if you are in Bisaya, the only language Bisaya. And if you go in, in Manila, you don't know how to speak in Manila language. It's really hard to communicate or talk with people there. So it's really hard. It's just some people are there and you're in Manila people. They know they know them. They know that um, they tell you that you are a Bisaya because yeah, you you know how to speak in Bisaya yeah, for the, the, the Asen. So they, they know already that, oh, you know, you where is um, where places that you've been in Bisaya because your speak is just like Bisaya. So they already know yeah. where you're from already because of your talking them. Yeah. It's very important, guys, to study. Yeah, study. If you not have the studies, your life is not not good. Yeah, cause some you, people judging. You're so lucky because you're in the school and then you need to be focused on the school. Yeah, cause if you are not studying, cause right now it's all it's all education, educational. Cause some people, you don't know how you don't uh, like elementary or high school. They say that oh, why it's just only like this. They think that you are always down also down yeah so they're just thinking that you cannot go for another future and just still down so that's really hard here in the filipino judging people that they don't know by them uh, uh, by self for the people that where the future came because the future will be no we don't know where you've been going that future or still coming so we just need to pray for that where future will be they come so guys, uh, that's it for my video today for about uh, my eldest brother for the getting grass. This is the this is the, the life story and the reason to help to me for speaking about the, uh, my brother for life story. So guys, see you next video. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye.